Hello and welcome to Skydio Release Notes. I'm Mark Flam, Director of Enterprise Customer Success, and today I'm excited to show you what's new with the Skydio X2e. Introducing Skydio Scout, a new flight skill that enhances the flying experience by enabling additional situational awareness when users are on the move. Scout allows you to follow and track a GPS position at long range with the freedom to easily reposition your drone and its camera's orientation. Skydio Scout supports GPS tracking of the Skydio Enterprise Controller and Skydio Beacon. If tracking the Skydio Beacon, you have the option to lock the beacon controls. This enables you to mount the beacon on a moving subject without the risk of unwanted button inputs. Note that the Skydio Beacon is only compatible with the Skydio Scout skill on X2. Skydio now integrates with ATAC to allow for network streaming and situational awareness. ATAC, or Android Team Awareness Kit, is an application that allows multiple inputs from network devices to be displayed in one central location to increase the team's situational awareness. With your Skydio Enterprise Controller, you can now wirelessly stream your drone's telemetry, location, and associated full motion video to the ATAC network. This allows for near real-time intelligence, situational awareness, navigation, and data sharing from the operator to their team members and organizations on the established ATAC network. For situations that require you to have a free hand during launch, you now have the option to launch your drone by tapping the battery button. Simply tap four times on the battery button to launch. If needed, you can cancel the launch by quickly pressing the button one more time. We've also made improvements to existing features to enhance your flight experience. When playing back a keyframe sequence, you now have the ability to use your controller's joysticks to adjust the drone's speed. If you set your joystick inputs to absolute, the roll joystick inputs directly maps to the drone's movements. While you are pressing on the stick, the drone will move. When you let it go, it will stop. Alternatively, you may set the joystick input to relative, which will allow you to use the joystick to adjust the speed slider ramping the speed up or down based on the left and right movement of the joystick. If you let go of the joystick, the drone will continue to move at its current speed. When performing a case landing, Scotty will now require one second of joystick inputs to unlock from the case. This reduces the chance of accidentally nudging your joysticks and interfering with a case landing. If the drone does unlock from the case, you now have the option to select the case and continue the case landing. Finally, we've added the ability to customize the functions of the left and right wheels of the Skydio Enterprise Controller. For example, set your right wheel to quickly adjust exposure value compensation based on your environment. Now let's talk about what's new with 3D Scan. Skydio X2 can now perform 2D GPS captures at night. This is a particularly useful feature for accident scene reconstruction. To scan at night, select GPS Night Flight Mode, calibrate if needed, then select 2D GPS Capture as your scan mode. Ensure your scene is properly lit in order to capture clear imagery. Set up your 2D GPS Capture as usual and launch. Skydio will do the rest. When flying at night, Skydio will use GPS only to navigate. Obstacle avoidance is still disabled. You now have the ability to save, edit, import, export, and repeat 2D GPS captures. After completing a scan, you may save that scan to your library. The next time you fly, simply select a scan in your library for that location and begin. Skydio will check that you are close to the scan boundaries. If you're too far away, you'll be prompted to move closer. We've also added the ability to efficiently scan the underside of structures with 2D capture. After setting the height of your scan surface, set the drone's height below that surface. When you begin your scan, the drone will automatically look up towards the surface. Finally, you now have the option to limit the maximum speed of your drone during all phases of a 3D scan. Adjust your scan maximum speed in accordance with your organization's standard operating procedures. We also have some great updates for our cloud customers. While ATAC support is available on every Skydio X2, cloud customers now have access to a dedicated Skydio streaming experience. Skydio streaming is viewable from mobile or desktop devices in both color and thermal streams. 
you have the option to generate a live stream video feed link to share with people outside of your Skydio Cloud organization. Licenses are available for viewing on single or multiple devices. You may also view live locations of drones in your organization. Your drone's location will be displayed on the map for real-time awareness. Designed to help you manage your fleet of Skydio drones, you can assign a name to your device in Skydio Cloud. The name will be displayed on the Fleet Manager dashboard. You also now have the option to export a single flight CSV file with detailed information about the flight. Here at Skydio, we are committed to improving so you have the best possible experience with our products. For more information about this release, visit our support articles at skydio.com support. Thank you and fly safe.